Disney releasing the trailer for Mufasa, I decided I'd do a tier list of Disney live action remakes. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Okay, so here you may see that there's not actually that many remakes there, and that's because I'm only doing the ones I've actually seen so I can give a fair representation. There is some big ones missing, like The Little Mermaid, which although it got loads of hate online, I actually still really want to see it because the actress who plays The Little Mermaid, I loved her in Grownish. I thought she's an amazing actress, and I still want to see it. So I'm only doing films that I've actually seen so that I give them a fair judgment. So we've got some categories here. We've got True Cinema. This is the creme de la creme. We've got Rewatchable. Okay, why have they kind of made this? And this has ruined the original film. This is so bad, it has actually ruined the original. So starting out with Alice in Wonderland, which is kind of like the first proper one, you'd say, other than maybe like the 101 Dalmatians remakes they did. Um, and so Alice in Wonderland... I would say it's probably rewatchable. I would say it's it's rewatchable. It's a good film. Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter is unbelievable. Uh, so yeah, definitely rewatchable. Then we've got Mulan, which like they could have done so much more with this film. It really didn't live up to the the cartoon version. So for me, I'm putting it as a why. Just really didn't live up to it. Then we've got Aladdin, and Aladdin for me, true cinema. That has been the best remake so far they've done. It was great. Will Smith as the genie is unbelievable. The music and songs are done to perfection. So for me, that has to be true cinema. Then we come to Beauty and the Beast, which obviously stars Emma Watson as Belle. The music was pretty good for it. Um, there was a few weird bits of like auto-tuning they did for it. Uh, the movie itself was, was probably just okay, though, I'd say. Well, it didn't really add anything. Uh, and yeah, so for me it was okay. Then we have Cruella, which, oh my days, true cinema. They reimagined Cruella de Vil. Emma Stone is incredible. This film was magnificent. Yeah, definitely true cinema for me. And then finally, The Lion King. Uh, I would say was rewatchable. So that is my tier list for Disney live action remakes I've actually seen. What Disney live action remakes haven't I seen that I should see? And where would you put Disney live action remakes on this tier list? Let me know in the comments.